Yes, Mike, you right? Hello, Ricky. Good to see you again. Yeah. So uh, you should have just seen Mike a few videos ago. We filmed this Skoda 560 bhp, and you did mention in that video that you had another car, which is this little Abarth 595, is it? Yeah, this is a 595 Competizione, mm -hmm. and it's uh, the latest one that. Uh, comes from the factory with uh, a few nice additions from the standard about. It's got uh, the bigger guard turbo that you can map and get uh, some nice power off. It comes with the Brembo brakes, a uh, nice suspension, uh, it's a bit lowered uh, and uh, it's also uh, slightly lighter than the more, you know, uh, the, the standard you know, final comfort final. editions, yeah. Okay. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep this one for the track and for the weekend. It's a bit too small for the family, so unfortunately I'll be getting a, a boring diesel for that. But <laughs> at least I'm going to have something I can have fun with, you know, after the Superb is gone. So this is your, like, car that you take to track days and stuff, yeah? Yeah, I've took it already to a couple of track days and also we do some nice uh, trips uh, within the UK and abroad, uh, mm. including the Evo Triangle, uh, where I hung out with a couple of nice supercars like the AMG GTS and the Audi R8. And it hangs with them, yeah? Well, uh, not on the straight, to be honest, but on the other hand, I can go 100% on this one, and then on the corners, it's so light and it breaks so well, I don't even have to slow down. Yeah, what is the weight on this? It comes with a 1,070 from the factory, but what I did was to remove the rear seats and uh, set it up like uh, the 695 edition that comes without seats. And uh, this one now, especially with the new lightweight alloys that I've put on, mm. is just under 1,000 kilos. Are these like capable cars? Or are they just fun? Like, you know, you've got the more serious performance cars. Mm -hmm. Well, this one especially, they, people say that's actually much more fun than the Mini and any other car. I know I'm going to get, you know, probably quite a few uh, nice comments about this, but it's really a fun car. It can introduce some lift of oversteer when you take it on the track. So it's not exactly drifting, but it can throw the rear wheels, you know, outside. Mm -hmm. And also it it lifts the inside wheel nicely and goes on three wheels when okay. you take it, you know, uh, over the corner at night speed. So what is this uh, running power-wise? This is uh, around 230 at the moment, 230. Uh, up from the 180 that is standard. Okay. And with uh, 990 kilos approximately, it drives nicely. Wow. And uh, you say that this has got the Garrett Turbo, whereas the other version... The other one got, comes with the IHI Turbo, yeah. if, and from that one you can only get approximately 190. Okay. Um, so I noticed that it's in this kind of like fire orange, similar to like the 1M Coupes. So has it been wrapped or is this like come from factory? No, this, uh, this was grey, which is a nice colour, it's called Circuit Grey, but we wrapped it in the Fury Orange uh, with a company in uh, Bunbury and they did a really nice job. I wanted something a bit different as long as this is not going to be my daily. Mm. I wanted it to stand out a bit. Okay. And uh, how long have you owned this? Uh, I've only had this since uh, May. Okay, cool. And uh, you say that the uh, it comes with Brembo's? It comes with Brembos. I've uh, already put uh, better lines and better uh, fluid, mm. and I'm also going to change the parts very soon. I just wanted to use them a bit. The car only has two and a half thousand miles. Okay. I wanted to use the uh, parts a bit and then put even better ones. And then uh, exhaust? Exhaust, it comes with a very nice uh, exhaust that's called the Monza exhaust. Uh, from the track and uh, uh, what I did was change the tips to instead of having four smaller tips I've got two bigger ones now that right. makes also the sound a bit more deep and uh, this exhaust is also uh, controllable uh, by the ECU and it, when it goes over certain RPMs it opens the second part of the exhaust and it sounds even beefier over three, three and a half thousand RPM okay wow and uh, all this diffuser works all factory yeah mm -hmm. and it's brand new as well you say it's a 2018 or yeah it's uh, as i said it's only uh, three months old or so but what was what's it like then getting out of this from the skoda like, what, how do they compare obviously they're two well, different cars but <laughs> this must feel a lot more raw it's yeah it's more raw it's it's slower i have to admit that i mean the skoda is you know supercar fast yeah. but this is quite nice especially on smaller tracks and when you take it to some very small a and b roads it can you know it brings it into its own territory which do you prefer to take out well if it goes for longer trips or for bigger roads for sure the skoda but this one is nice when i go on very small roads roads like let's say in wales where you can barely go past without scraping some of the bushes yeah. this is a nice car to have so what's this uh, ace parade is this a 
company of yours? Or? This is a company, yeah, I work uh, uh, with uh, where we have trips uh, all over Europe every year. Uh, we've been doing this now for six years and we also started doing uh, trips within the UK. Interior-wise, uh, it comes with a nice uh, flat-bottom wheel uh, with some carbon and uh, very importantly, this model comes with uh, some fantastic sabled uh, bucket seats which work fantastically well. Uh, they can hold you on the track but also are quite comfortable if you take it for longer trips. Yesterday I drove around five hours and when I got out of the car I was still feeling fresh. We've got uh, the Bilston suspension on it, uh, yeah. the same suspension I put on the Skoda Superb. I was so happy with that that I put the same callovers on this one. Okay. Yeah. And uh, also another important thing I did was to install the Quayfair limited slip differential and it pulls out of corners so much better now. Did it transform the car? or? It really did, it really yeah. did, especially on smaller roads and on the track or going around roundabouts, it's fantastic. You can enter and exit at speeds that you can do in very few cars. The, the power to weight ratio must be quite high on this though, like what would it go, like what would it compare to? Like, uh, power to weight? This is approximately 240 uh, bhp per uh, ton, so I would say if this would compare speed wise with uh, maybe a BMW uh, 140 okay uh, right. especially uh, in when you start you know uh, moving uh, this is fragment drive so it will spin the wheels a bit when you start you know uh, uh, from stop but when you get going it's really fast yeah. well should we hit the road then yeah sounds good <laughs> Yeah, yeah, this one I'm gonna keep. I mean, 
if I lose this one too, you know, I'm not gonna have the will to live. <laughs> I was gonna say, man, break down. It was made for these roads. start working and mm -hmm. at that point without an LSD you'd feel it to start to understand wouldn't you? It would just jump yep, to just the side or you've got to get used to driving this, you know that. You can feel it really like <laughs> scrambling around isn't it? This is seriously fun man. I can't believe that one's fun I mean. You've probably seen me in a lot of my videos I drive with one hand sometimes. You can't do that in it. It needs your full attention doesn't it? For me, where I'm driving so many cars mm -hmm. now, I can really appreciate this car. Mm -hmm. It is, like you said, it's not even about the power, but you do get a high sensation of speed mm -hmm. inside this cabin. Anybody watching, you need to, you need to find that car that gives you the sense of speed, man. Some of these cars are so well built that it's taken that element away. So it's That's the end of the video guys as always if you did enjoy it thumbs up and subscribe if you're new to the channel and i'll see you soon thank you for watching bye